Oh, it's a Varose Eagle Owl, not a raptor. Well, I suppose it is, but not the raptor that I was thinking of. I thought that possibly because it is so dark and we couldn't get a clear view. Remember how far we've zoomed in now with a camera? It just looked like it perhaps was going to be a Wahlberg's Eagle or something, and I love them. But this is far more exciting to wake up and find an owl, and I've been saying for such a long time now that I've been dying to see a Varose Eagle Owl. So I'm very excited about this, and I hope that you are all excited too. There's even a forktail drongo just sitting above it, just keeping a very close eye on this owl. But that's very exciting to see both of them. Oh, and there it goes. It's just gone down. It just flew off into the distance, down into the drainage line. The drongo was in hot pursuit, chasing after the owl. It was a very quick and brief sighting. And I suspect that that owl is now going to find a nice cool spot to rest. And well, what a perfect spot, a drainage line. That's normally where you come across the Varose eagle owls. Um, and always down in the southern sector of the Sabi Sand and the, the big riverbeds uh, that meander through the property. It was really incredible. You could go down there and drive in the middle like you would drive in the Mulati and find five or six different Varose eagle owls. So that was really, really exciting. That might be something cool to come and look at this afternoon on Bushwalk because I've now seen where it's gone in. I don't think it will move very much more once the sun starts to come out. That was amazing. That was really, really cool. Well spent.